Hello and welcome again to channel 48. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Puck and in this video we're going to talk about Muki. You will be like Muki? What was Muki? Well Muki is an Android development company. They develop firmware for a whole lot of phones and I never heard of them until two days ago when one of my subscribers Quali Pro uh, asked me, he said why you never show Muki ROMs uh, we only see Lineage OS and, and Resurrection and, and these days E, because I also as well promote E Foundation, um, but never Muki. So I was like, hey, I never heard of Muki, but I will take a look into it. I like these kinds of things, you know, I have a whole lot of phones. <laughs> and and if, if, if some the Android development company is, is supporting one of these phones that is not supported by the others, I'm, I'm a happy man. So I went taking a look at Muki and in this video uh, we as well gonna compare well not really compare but you know Android development companies open source uh, 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 developers these guys they work everywhere and eh? sometimes you see some name as Hagerick uh, coming up in, in, in some resurrection ROM or, or you see his name in some lineage OS ROM these things they you know they happen you see uh, Vincent uh, helped out in, in some other room and in some other room you see GTC team, uh, you know, uh, what is this guy name? Well, I can call many names for you out there, but you know what I mean? They all work together. So in fact, they are all family and I'm the daddy of the family. So I keep all these companies, you know, that are creating uh, unofficial and official custom runs. I keep them close to me. I embrace them because I'm happy that they are there, you know. So in this video, I want to bring to you Muki. And in the next video, we're gonna install one of their ROMs on, on, on the Note 3. And on many of my other phones, you will see Muki as well passing by in the coming time. All right, cause I just love all these you know android developing companies because they create magic for our devices right so um the best way to show it to you of course is not with my iphone to film my screen because that will look ridiculous we know that from from my iphone so we're gonna jump into the computer uh sound might uh, sound a little bit different that microphone is not so fantastic from my computer but you will understand each and everything and you will see it even more clear so let's jump into the computer Okay, welcome. We're in the computer and we're gonna go to the website of Muki. 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 And here we are. Uh, this is the website of Muki. And up here you can see at the left all the devices that are supported. And the coolest is uh, that you will also find all the devices. Um, even though they won't be having the latest ROMs, but you will find a whole lot of devices. Here you can see the, what is this? G-Pad, G2, G3, G4, name it G5, Motorola, Samsung, let's see what Samsung OS in here. Here you can see the Samsung uh, phones, the A3, A5, A5, A7, G5, G5. See that? Note 3. Complete series, Note 2. Complete series, S2. International, 9100. Uh, even though it's only Android 6, but it's still fantastic to have a nice ROM. Not sure if it's still being developed on. No. So here you're gonna find all the ROMs. 
and the room that I'm gonna show you is the room for the note 3 as you can see s9 as well in here let's see I think that's Moki 9 I think oh 8.1 so they are still at 8.1 for the for the s9 s4 mini let's take a look at that one s4 mini is having Android 6 so yeah that is not so spectacular right um, but your A5 has Android 9 ROMs just like your A3 I think as well Android 9 can you see that Galaxy Note 2 just taking a look at the Android version 6 7 yeah so um the side these guys and i think let me see who the group hagerick i saw hagerick in here um let's look at the team we have martin oh he, he, this guy looks like uh Spanish guy, eh? Spanish. This is the co-founder, and this is Mr. Xing GRZ. And Gal Yihu. She sounds Chinese. This sounds like Indonesian, I think, or not? No, maybe I'm I'm wrong. Isaac Sheng. So we have many Chinese in here. And um, what I as well found out uh, when I tested the ROM, before I would make a video about it, that um, <laughs> the ROM is in the first place Chinese. So it will welcome you in Chinese. And at the next page, you can choose your language. But I think many people will get confused uh, because of that. And that is maybe as well the answer to the question of my friend Qualit why uh, Muki is not so yeah not so wanted and is not being used maybe by a certain group of people too much um, that could be one because this 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 group is more uh, reaching the the yeah, the public is, is more the Eastern public, I think. I'm not sure about that. Uh, however, uh, if you're going to download the ROM, let's show that as well. Um, what is this? Redmi Prime. Where is Samsung? Come here, you Samsung. So let's say if I would go and download... Let me see. I want the ROM for my for my S3, the 9300. Where is the thing? Let me see. Here it is, 9300. I think these guys will still be on 7.12. You see that? So this release is. Uh, on the 28th of January 2019 so this is old is old is old so yeah another answer to your question Qualit is that these ROMs that they are offering there are old because for the S3-9300 we can find a 7.12 uh, at E but then with recent security patches we can even find um, lineage os micro g and if we go to that side i will show you then um, you should look from this way here you should scroll here you see that we have a whole lot of 
ROMs as well here. This, these are all micro G ROMs. These are ROMs with a sort of Google surface built in. And here you can find the 9300 as well. And it's uh, 7.12. Oh, but. Oh, this is very old one as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is very old one as well. Oh no, this is 9305. Where is 9300? Hold on. 9300. 51. Where is it? I saw it. Never mind. Edit. Find in this page I 9300. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. And up here, you're gonna find out that uh, we have Android 7.12 as well, but at least a ROM from, yeah, it's in fact the same. Eh? Let me see. This is the 28th of February 2019, and this is. The 14th of February. <laughs> so Mookie has a newer ROM out there. Oh my goodness. I, 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 I. It's not good to compare. Eh? It's not good to compare. Let me see lineageos.org. They kicked, they kicked this phone out already. Let's take a look at that. Download. More than twisted my sobriety. Let me see. I-9300. S4, S4, S4. I think we don't have S3 anymore. A3, A7, S4 active, and then we get S5, of course. Galaxy S3 Neo. Oh, what is this? Only camera. Oh, the Sony and the... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that is cool. So, um, yeah. Lineage OS kicked the 9300 out of the out of their store. So then, uh, we have one more option for the i9300, and that is EROM. And let's go to EROM. <laughs> Look at my videos. <laughs> I'm the only one showing EROMs. Um, no, I don't want to buy. <laughs> I just want to show the development. 89 phones. They went uh, from 81 to 89 phones. Eh? I love this company as well. as as well one of my favorite companies. All of you. All of you are. None excluded. Okay, so all of you uh, that are creating ROMs out there for, for phones, you are all my family. So here you can see the Galaxy S3 International, the 9300. We as well have here, and then you must hit install. And then you're gonna go here all the way down here. It's kind of tricky to find uh, the download, but here you're gonna see uh, the Nougat for the 9300. And it's uh, this one has been created on the. Uh, what is it saying? 2019-11-9. This is this this ROM was this this EROM is effect giving you the very latest from all of them. Okay, Lineage OS is not supporting it anymore. This is the daughter of Lineage OS, so you can say this is as well Lineage OS. Okay, but then you know even more beautiful than 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 Lineage OS. And this is effect um, the last build and in two weeks from now we're gonna get another build so these guys have active development going on uh, even more than than you know lineage OS for micro g and even more than these guys here but it depends on the device on the popularity of the device look if, if almost nobody's using the i9300 anymore let's say just a couple of thousand people then you know yeah, you must make choices. So I understand these choices. So, but it's good to have, you know, all sorts of uh, development uh, 
going on for for these devices because if we take a look at the a3 yeah the a3 got android 9 here but the a3 let's oh i'm totally out where am i download and try i'm gonna show that to you the a3 device list i'm gonna put this here hey come here so this is the device list i just painted to my uh if you're wondering how i'm doing this in firefox if you're using firefox you must uh, make sure that you turned on uh, the bookmarks toolbar okay because they will they will turn it off when you get it it will not be there and menu bar will as well not be there so if you're wondering how i'm doing this all it's very easy turn on the bookmark bar and make sure that the menu bar is as well there so you can at least find something in 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 in, in yeah in this browser you know everybody's hiding everything away to keep people a little bit stupid you understand they rather have that the world is stupid and unknown so um if we take a look at the a3 here then you're gonna find out yeah that these three phones they all have uh, support going on so we go to install and i think these guys here um they have android oreo you see that this is oreo but in some way uh, this rom is not installing anymore on my a3 i don't know what happened if if maybe somebody made a mistake with uploading i don't know really i don't know whenever i connect to the internet i made a video about it then you know it uh, it starts rebooting so yeah something i don't know and i don't want to think about it so uh here you can see that we get oreo at the guys from e but here at Mookie and as well at Lineage OS, yeah, for the A3, you will find latest of the latest. Here, A3, boom. You see that? Lineage OS, 25th of 11, 2019. This one is 26th of 11, 2019. This, so, in some way, I feel that, that all these, these guys because this is open source you know everybody's using everybody's sources you understand so when update when one comes out they work together and they come out at the same time with 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 roms so that is fantastic if you understand what i'm saying and that is thanks to open source here you can see that that this one is from the 11th of 11th so this one is not is not uh uh exactly having the same upload date or or date of, of of release to say this way okay so yeah another thing of mookie honestly i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest is the waiting time now we're gonna download something and probably these guys that are giving mookie this website yeah, they, they demand this, uh, yeah, they let this happen. So you can as well look at the advertisements, etc. But I think a very better way would be to, um, to post these uh, ROMs to Android file host, or if you don't want to put it to Android file host, uh, yeah, create a Mookie account at, 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 at Google put them at Google you know and if you don't want to put them at Google you can put them at Soundforge so uh, there are several better options uh, to download the Mookie ROMs I know ROM, ROM installers and testers they don't like these kinds of things to wait they don't like to wait they want to click and then they want to download and they also want to download <coughs> with a reasonable speed this is way too slow this is gonna take 20 minutes before I can flash the file you know and yesterday when I was downloading this file it also stuck in the middle it stopped and then I just refreshed the download and it continued 
that's thanks to Firefox. It has it built in. <coughs> I think Chrome as well and these other browsers, you know, so don't feel bad there when I talk good about Firefox. But that, that is that is what I see. So these three things uh, um, they should work on. And uh, whenever they do that, they work on the uh, the location where they're gonna put the ROMs <coughs> so we have a better download speed and you set the language to English standard in the prop file then this will all be good so what I decided to do and if it's not okay with Mookie then you must uh, immediately uh, contact me and then I will just not do it but I think that uh, these these uh, these, these ROMs uh, are being updated over the air. So that means um, it doesn't matter what ROM you download for a certain phone, when you're gonna update it, it will be updated over the air. At least that's what I think. And I'm looking really fast here uh, in the system. Uh, Mookie Center, let me see what that is. Um, let's check never okay I'm not connected to the internet so I think if you're gonna update over the air to a higher build of Mookie then I think every build that I'm gonna show on my channel yeah I will upload that build for that particular phone to my Google Drive so you all can get that build from my Google Drive so you won't have this annoyance you know, of long waiting time, etc. And whenever you uh, downloaded the ROM and it's installed, then you can update the ROM from out the uh, from out the settings part. So you know it will go over the air. I think uh, in that way I will help you to get the ROM faster, so you can test it and install it on your phone. And that is what I can do for Mookie. Of course, I can as well make some videos. Uh, about uh, the Muki ROM and in this way as well give some extra attention to to these guys that are creating ROMs you know these are also our friends and family so we must as well treat them nice here you can see the S6 as well has ROM has a ROM here and that is as well I think 7.12 for now maybe very soon Android 8 you never know but it as well depends a little bit on uh, yeah because in fact they continue the development uh, for the 7.12 because in fact lineage OS yeah they 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 kicked the S6 out of the out of their system you see that before we had the S6 as well here the zero and the zero tax but it's gone you see that so they picked up from there because the S6 is still a beautiful phone. It's crazy not to use this phone anymore. You know what this phone costed one day? It costed, I think, as well 1,000 euros or 800. You understand? So yeah, and as well, uh, our friends from E are as well supporting the Zero because they as well understand that this is a very good phone. But they are also on 7.12. And they are just working on on the security patches so lineage os is a very important uh a source for 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 all these rom creators all of them aosp uh, name it resurrection uh, these guys they all work together they help each other this is like one big android family and that's exactly how it should be you see that's why i'm showing all of you non-excluded included the the uh, the not not official uh, roms i'm as well showing those because sometimes roms are being created that are not being created by these official uh, rom creators such as android 9 for the samsung galaxy s6 or uh, even android 9 for uh, the samsung s3 i90 300 and even android 10 for the s4 the 9505, what is it called? Uh, the S4 with Exynos International. And all these other models. The S5, KLTE. The G900F, as well got Android 10. 
but they will never receive Android 10. Well, maybe, you don't know, you don't know. If, if many of us keep using uh, uh, yeah, our Samsung S5, the KLTE and these other models, then maybe Lineage OS will say, uh, no, uh, let's bring Android 10 as well to these phones. These are liable, uh, 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 how you say that, uh, liable, loyal, loyal, loyal users. And, and, and these are, you know, people that depend on our, yeah, on our development. So, yeah, that's why, you see that? KLT Duos, LTE, they are all in here. This is for the, I think the plus, not even sure, S4. These guys still think that S4 is a good phone. You know, and all the notes, Note 3, but the Note 2 is not in the list. You see that? But at Muki, you will find the Note 2. So what you should do, uh, if you have Firefox as well, is just go to all these sites, grab that little thingy there and put it right there. So you can, at, you know, at least check out in a, in a quick way, whatever these guys have to offer and, and, and just get, get, get whatever you need from there just like xda developers that's my church i'm there like five times per day you know if it's not more so um somebody's asking for google play store yeah i never put google play store guys uh, so how to find google play store just go to opengaps.org okay this organization is out there special for you guys that need open gaps and up here you can get micro g uh, for instance you, you you're running uh, android 9 depending or if the android 9 let me see android 9 all android 9 devices are hey i don't understand something i think the s5 plus was 32 bit so then this won't work oh yeah of course then you need arm you stupid then you, you need just arm you see so if your phone is 32 bit you need this okay and then you select the 9 10 is not available yet it requires a patched what patched room for proper web view i think you all these guys must just put in uh, micro g in their rooms you know and then then everything is just fine same and then you should go for pico that's how to find your your gaps okay don't ask me about gaps because google never gave me permission uh to 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 give away their 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 store and and whatever you know so i don't want to get in trouble with these guys because one day it's gonna be forbidden you know to do so and uh, for now you know many of you are still using open gaps and other other ways you know i'm like if i'm using a custom rom then i'm using a custom yeah a custom store and then i already have my apps somewhere and i just flash them as a second flash on top of the uh, of the rom and then i have all my all my stuff built in system filed even if i if i would reset the phone everything comes back just just the way it was you see and that's not the case with gaps so yeah so that's how to get your gaps guys and um yeah i think moki is is uh, as well a very very lovely uh, rom because i installed it on my hlte uh, that is the samsung what is it called the note 3 uh, the note 3 the 9500 and in my next video the one after this one we're gonna install it so you can see what it is back to the studio well, then I want to thank you for watching. My coffee is all cold now because <laughs> I forgot about it while making this video. So um, I'm gonna make me a new one. I want to wish you a fantastic time with installing ROMs onto your phone. And then I wish you the very best and see you in the next video again. Like and subscribe.